In this video, I'm going to go over how to add with base 10 materials when you have to do regrouping. The question I'm going to start with is 45 plus 7. So I have my place value mat and I have my base 10 materials. If you don't have these at home, you can draw a place value mat on a piece of paper and you can cut out base 10 materials or print them off of the internet fairly easily. Once you have your materials ready, you're always going to start with the first number and think about the ones place. So in 45, I have five ones. One, two, three, four, five. I have four tens. One, two, three, four, and I want to have my number 45 be really clear that it goes together. And I'm going to check that I've made it correctly. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. It's a good idea to work with a partner and have them check. Sometimes we do things quickly and we miss something. Next, I'm going to go on to my next number, which has only one digit, 7, 7 ones. I want it to be clearly different than the 45, just like I can clearly see 45 and I can clearly see 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I'm going to just double check. 2, 4, 6, 7. So I have 45 and I have 7. I'm going to check my sign. It's a plus sign, which means we bring everything all together. I'm going to start with my ones place, bring it all together, and the tens place, I'm going to bring just a cross since there was no tens to join. When we add, it's always a good habit to start with the ones place. So I'm going to count how many ones I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I can have only 0 to 9 ones. 12 is too many. So I have to trade 10 ones for 1 10. So I'm going to take off 10 ones and I'm going to trade them for 1 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 10 ones. I'm going to trade that for 1 10. 1 10 is the same as 10 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 ones all together. Because it's now a 10 rod, I'm going to put it in the tens place. So now I've put all my ones together and I've counted them. I have two. I'm going to now count my tens. One, two, three, four, five tens. Five is in between zero and nine, so I don't have to do any trading. So now I can look at what the answer to my question is. In the ones place, I have two ones. In the tens place, I have one, two, three, four, five tens. I had to trade, and we often show that by putting the traded one, the 10 that we made, in the tens place. So we show that we had to add a 10 after trading off the ones. We can represent that with a 1 in the tens place to show that we had one 10 that we did. My answer is 52. Before I go on, I can count to see if that makes sense. So I'm going to count and see if my number is 52. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52. And it makes sense. It looks right. And I did lots of double checking along the way. So I feel pretty confident that that's the correct answer. So I'm now ready to go on to my next question. First thing I need to do is clear off my place value map. I'm now ready for a bit of a trickier question. 27 plus 37. I always want to start with the ones place. 
So the first number is 27. I need seven ones. Two, four, six, seven. And I need two tens. One, two. Now I can go on to the next number. What did I forget? You got it. I need to double check. So I'm going to go back. 10, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Now I can go on to the 37. Just like I can see in the algorithm, 27 clearly and 37 clearly, I need to do the same thing on my place value mat. So I'm going to make 37, starting in the ones place, 7 ones. 2, 4, 6, 7, 3 tens, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to double check that I did that correctly. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Good. I have 27 and I have 37. I check the sign and it says to add, which means we put everything all together. I'm going to start with my ones place. And I'm going to bring all of these together. And now I'm going to move all my tens place together. Now I'm ready to find out what number I made. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I have 14 ones. But that's too many. I only can have between 0 and 9 in the ones place. So I need to trade. I need to trade 10 ones for 1 10. You try saying that. I need to trade 10 ones for 1 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to trade 10 ones for 1 10. I need to take these off now because this is the same. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 ones. I'm just putting them together in a different way. Now I have between 0 and 9. Let's check the tens place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 is between 0 and 9. So now I can put my answer down. I have four ones. I'm going to put that in the ones place. I have one, two, three, four, five, six tens. And because I traded, I can show that I traded and added one to the tens place by putting it up there. And that's a way to show that we did our trading in our algorithm. 64 is the answer I got. I'm going to double check. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. I did lots of double checking on the way, so I am feeling very confident that I got the right answer. And now I'm ready to go on to another question. So, what I have to do first? Clear my place value map. Are you ready to try some on your own? All right, here's a question for you. What is 69 plus 18? Good luck.